All right, everybody, it is me, Gregory Manorino. It is Wednesday, December 23rd, 2020, and here we go. You, you got to sit down for this. I mean, this is just crazy, and obviously, to be expected, if you follow this blog, you knew what I'm about to tell you would happen. Let, let's talk about that. We got three pieces of absolutely abysmal economic news. It just doesn't stop. Initial jobless claims for last week came in again at a staggering 803,000, 803,000. Uh, it's just, it's, it's crazy. It, it, it's terrible what we are witnessing here. Let's, let's move forward. Personal income craters, well, no surprise there, and personal spending falls off of a cliff. We're in an economic meltdown and stock futures right now are higher across the board. Again, the disconnect between the market and the economy, it's just, it's, it's incredible. It keeps getting worse and it will continue to get worse. Now, what else just happened? So we got this, uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry I'm laughing, but it's just too much. For months, I don't know, eight months, Congress worked towards putting together a stimulus package for, for America, the American people, $600 checks uh, was supposed to go out last week. Well, guess what? It's not happening. Uh, the president, President Trump, is now siding with the Democrats, saying, no, 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 uh, the stimulus package is not big enough. And a lot of, a lot of his fellow Republicans are not happy. Um, okay, well, you know what? I, I explained to you how this was going to play out. I think this is a game. All, all in all, I still think this is a game. Congress tossing this back and forth for months, finally throws together some kind of a, a package here, which was a big disappointment to many people. It goes to the president, and President Trump says, "Oh no, not big enough. I'm gonna I'm gonna side the Democrats on this one, and we're gonna we're gonna go for something larger." Uh, kicking the can down the road further. How long is this going to take? I have no idea. But again, this is a, the bigger, grander plan is uh, to destroy the middle class. Sure, maybe a bigger check will come. Maybe you'll get twelve hundred. I have no idea. Uh, but but people are hurting now. Okay, uh, what they could have done, or what the president could have done, is says, okay, you know what? Let's sign this thing. Let's give people some relief. And then we'll work on another another package because that's the way it's going to play out anyway. I told you this would have been the first installment, but no, now you get nothing. Uh, anyway, I'm sure uh, I'm sure this is going to play out exactly the way I've been explaining it's going to play out because it has been, and it's not going to stop. It's not going to change. So again, uh, right here, we got more news. I mean, no surprise to you if you follow this blog. We are in economic free fall. It could not be worse. It really couldn't. But it's going to get worse. There's no doubt about it. Uh, as this thing progresses, it's some kind of a thing that we are in right now. Uh, this COVID-19, the best thing that could have ever happened to not just central banks, the Federal Reserve more specifically, but Big Pharma. Uh, deals between the uh, the new U.S. government and Big Pharma have never been like this in history. Uh, we are throwing, now it's hundreds of millions of dollars, hundreds of millions uh, at Big Pharma here uh, to supply more vaccines, some experimental uh, therapy by Merck. Uh, the government, our government, uh, just came to some kind of agreement with Merck for like nearly $400 million of an experimental drug that they're going to start dispersing. I don't know about you. I don't want an experimental drug used on me. I'm not a guinea pig, okay? I wouldn't be taking it anyway. But this is the twisted environment we are in. Uh, take it all in. So again, absolutely abysmal, abysmal. Uh, economic news, it's terrible to hear that another 803,000 people just filed for initial jobless claims. Personal spending cratering, personal income cratering, the president siding with the Democrats uh, for a bigger deal. Uh, no surprise there. Kick the can down the road. Kill the middle class. That's what it's all about. President's in on it too, quite obviously. And that's where we're going. Anyway, um, so stock futures are higher off of the bad economic news. It's going to continue to get worse. Uh, big Pharma couldn't be happier in this environment, and neither could uh, the central banks. The Federal Reserve has got to be like, 
more money. Oh, great. This is fantastic. This is exactly what we wanted. But look, all our politicians, they work for the Fed. They don't work for you. They work for the Federal Reserve. And this is a grander plan to borrow more cash into existence. So I'm sure that the president had a little sit down with uh, Yellowstone and said, you know what? Let's not do this right now. Let's 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 kick the can down the road. Side with the Democrats, Mr. President, and uh, we'll we'll get a bigger stimulus package maybe in a month or two, uh, and that will that will uh, fulfill what we want to do, which is eliminate the middle class and allow the Fed to move up to the top of that pyramid even further. They're already there, but it should be very obvious to you that that's exactly what is going on here. All right, I'm out of here, people. This guy right here loves you a lot. Please share the video. I will see you later. I'm out of here.